A harrowing video of the moment a young woman was hit by a roller coaster and left with horrific injuries has been shared online in the wake of the victim's family being trolled. Shyla Rodden, 26, remains in intensive care after being struck by the rebel coaster at the Melbourne Royal Show on Sunday. Shocking footage of the incident shared on TikTok appears to show Ms. Rodden being hit by the roller coaster and dragged nine metres along the beginning of a loop. Daily Mail Australia has chosen not to publish the footage out of respect for the young victim and her family. Police believe Ms. Rodden walked onto the tracks of the high-speed ride to retrieve a mobile phone. The ride was reopened just days after the accident on Tuesday, in a move Ms. Rodden's family have slammed as shameful. Her devastated sister, Keisha Rodden, told Daily Mail Australia her family are still in the dark about the extent of Ms. Rodden's injuries. We don't know the possibilities and chances at this stage, she said. A show spokeswoman, who demanded she not be named, said WorkSafe has declared the ride safe after an inspection and that it could be reopened from Tuesday. The safety and well-being of our visitors to the show continues to be our number one priority, she said in a statement. Strict safety protocols are upheld in line with Victorian WorkSafe regulations. All rides on site have undergone stringent compliance inspections and have passed all the required safety documentation. Show management declined to comment on whether new safety procedures have been adopted in wake of Miss Rodden's accident. The Melbourne Royal Show will remain open until this weekend. News of the ride's reopening saw renewed sickening online abuse hurled at Ms. Rodden. They can blame no one else but the lady who was injured. It was her choice to try and retrieve it while the ride was still running, one person wrote. And so it should be reopened. Why would you even try getting your phone when the coaster was in use? Silly mistake by the girl, another woman wrote. Kaisha said rumours spread online are causing even greater pain to her family, who are already struggling to cope with the tragedy. Definitely misinformation regarding the accident, which is really sad and causing more distress for our family, she said. Shyla is in critical condition and we won't know more until later today, as we will be discussing with police and giving some eyewitness statements. Her father, Alan Rodden, said mystery still surrounds how Shyla was hit. There are a lot of stories going around, and I don't know which one is true, and if someone is covering their tracks, he said. Police revealed on Monday the roller coaster was travelling at 70 km/h when Ms. Rodden was hit.